everyone, this is John the Watch Concierge and today I'm going to be doing a review of a watch from my collection. This is the Orient Split Day Date. I'm not exactly sure on the name of this watch but the reference number for it is 469DD6-70 and I believe this is a watch that's only available within the Asian market, within maybe just the Japanese domestic market. So it's not something that you'll be able to find easily and it's likely a discontinued model. So I tried to look up some information regarding this watch and it's not very easy to find. I found a couple of listings out of Japan and I think Philippines and maybe Thailand as well. And really the only information I found was based off the listing uh, that I bought this watch from on Chrono24 uh, from someone here in Europe. So it wasn't even outside of Europe that I bought this, but it's a watch that's in good condition and I'm not exactly sure what year it's from. So I'm not really sure if it's a vintage or if it's not, I usually considered any vintage watches to be at least 20 years old or more. So I'm not too sure if this is a watch from the nineties or the early two thousands or older than that, maybe the eighties, but I would say my guess would be anywhere from the nineties to the early two thousands, uh, considering it is a automatic only and you can see the exhibition case back here with, uh, in-house movement. So it's kind of common with of course newer models but also common with the models from around the late 90s or early 2000s uh, for J Japanese watches or in particular Seiko's and Orient. So especially with these older models and case size for this watch is 36 millimeters and it's got a case thickness of about 12 millimeters including the plexiglass here and it came in very good condition for the most part it's got some light scratches around the case and and also on the plexiglass here but I can probably work on that to maybe make that disappear or at least look make it look a lot better and right now even you know in this video here you can probably tell that it's a bit hard to see whether there are scratches or not so I kind of just have to put it at certain angles which is, which is nice because then I can clearly see the dial and so the the watch as you can see here it's got a split day date function so it's got a very interesting movement here with uh, apparently 21,600 beats per hour and a 42 hour power reserve the movement if you look at the back here on the rotor, you can see it says 21J45948. So you can see Orient Japan and the back here seems to be actual glass, not acrylic. So different to the top part here. And it's got a very interesting dial. I mean, it's very cool design overall with the case and the lugs. It's a, it's a beautiful watch. You got the signed crown there with the O from Orient. And it's interesting how you kind of have this step down up here to I guess the, the bezel but I think it's just really it's, it's not even a bezel it's just all the case but you have different levels here from the side of the case up to going to this upper top part which almost serves as a, a bezel I guess and yeah you've got a very good looking dial with applied numerals and the orient name right there with no Orient logo with the little two lions and the, the O and the crown. So it's kind of cool. You have the split day date and the day, you can also see that there is a number right next to it where you can see the day of the week, the number for the day of the week. So six, 
indicating Saturday, which is today, and then tomorrow will be seven, and then one will be Monday. So it's very cool that they have that. And right here, you got the, the date right on the three. And along the outer part of the numerals, you can see there's also the little loom application right there, as well as on the hands. And they actually work quite well. They do sh shine or light up at night, even without too much light being needed. They still kind of show up and glow. So it's definitely nice to have that. And you can just tell how, how green it is, right? Even with the light that you get here coming from this window. And on the dial, you also have 21 joules, water resist, 3 ATM. So definitely not a watch that you'll wanna take in the water. And I wanna talk about also about this strap here that you have with this watch that I got. So this is, I think, not the original strap. It says Italian leather, best quality Leonardo. So it seems like this is an aftermarket strap. However, when you look at the top, it looks like it would be something that you'd get originally with the watch. So it's a very nice quality leather. And you got the, this kind of snake skin or lizard skin pattern, which is very cool. And it is kind of coming apart a little bit, but still wearable, still usable. And yeah, it's a good quality. The buckle is the, seems like the original Orient buckle from the, the watch. So it makes me wonder what, whether this is the original strap or not, but I will assume it's not the original strap. They just kept the buckle and, and switched that on to this newer strap here and yeah it's just a overall beautiful watch great quality orient is is really a good brand i mean hard to disappoint with the the quality that you get nowadays with the watches that you get especially the divers i mean it's a lot of watch uh, for the money especially comparing to seiko and what you get with seiko models nowadays like the seiko 5 sports and comparing that to the diver watches from Orient or just the, the sports sports models from Orient. You get the Sapphire Crystals most of the time. And with Seiko, you don't usually get that, right? So, but even these older model Orient is, is just really, really nice quality and really beautiful watches. So definitely recommend if you find, if you can find something like this, or any other Orient models or Seiko models that are a little bit older and discontinued. I mean, that's one of the things I really like doing is looking at these these older models and seeing, of course, the condition of them and just looking up the history to see if I can find anything. But it's just a really, really cool thing to, to find these special pieces. And with that, I think that's really all I have for you. Um, it's not much else to this watch that I can tell you besides being a fantastic little daily wear. And you can also kind of use it as a dress watch, something more elegant. And it's great size. I mean, 36 millimeters is really perfect for someone with small wrists like I have. So here's what that looks like. Uh, it looks great. Anyways, thank you very much for checking out this video. Make sure to subscribe, like, check out all the other videos I have on my channel. Make sure to comment and leave your feedback there on this video and on this watch. Uh, tell me also uh, what you like about it and what you think or if you have any questions let me know message me on instagram if you'd like uh, check out all my photos that i have on there of my beautiful watches and other watches that i come across uh, during my travels or 
you know, just on my day to day. So definitely check me out on Instagram as well and follow me there. And you are welcome to ask me any questions on there as well. So but just look at how that light reflects off that, uh, those, those numerals, the applied numerals and the name just looks beautiful on here. We can also do a quick loom test and I can show you guys here how, how it looks. And another thing I wanted to mention about this watch is that it's only automatic. So there's no manual winding feature. Uh, there's no hacking either. So that is one thing that I kind of dislike is that there is no manual winding option. You just have to kind of shake it and get it started, which some people are fine with. And I like having the automatic function, the, the rotor and everything, but I also wish that there would be the option to manual wind the watch. So now that we can take a look here, we've got plenty of loom, turn off the light and that's what the loom looks like. So pretty good and it'll last for a decent amount of time, I'd say. Usually when I have this on, when I go to sleep, the loom will still stay on. So I can pretty much read it the whole night. I think it, it lasts for the whole time. I can kind of wake up in the middle of the night and I'd still be able to, to see the loom, I think. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.